Phoenix and today we're gonna be talking weight loss smoothies and you guys are really going to love this because I know a lot of you drink smoothies and what I'm about to share today about weight loss smoothies is going to be a game changer for a lot of you guys and it's really gonna be that light bulb moment where you come to realize hey this is why I haven't been losing weight as quickly as I want to with my smoothie diet or this is why I've hit a weight loss plateau though I'm drinking these smoothies, these healthy weight loss smoothies all day long, all right? So first and foremost, I think smoothies are awesome. They're a wonderful uh, meal to incorporate into a healthy lifestyle in general, and especially if you wanna lose weight because you're able to cram a ton of nutrients into one compact condensed meal very, very quickly. I actually drink a green smoothie every single morning and I have certain ingredients that I put in it um, and I also highly recommend it to people that I work with that they start incorporating green smoothies into their diet and people achieve fantastic results with them. And then there are tons of people in general who rave about smoothies. The thing is, if you are going to be drinking smoothies for the purpose of losing weight, you know, creating a weight loss smoothie, then your smoothie needs to follow certain criteria, all right? Um, and that's going to really put it up high on that scale of like the best weight loss smoothie because there are different types of smoothies. Smoothies can come in all shapes and sizes and compositions depending on what you want to achieve health-wise. I mean, there's some smoothies that you can drink to help digestion. There are some smoothies that you can drink for healthy hair, skin, and nails, beauty smoothies. And then we have weight loss smoothies. And then there's some smoothies that cross a whole bunch of criteria that can help you lose weight and grow healthier hair. I mean, there's tons of smoothie uh, recipes out there. But when it comes to weight loss, the biggest mistake that people make that ends up sabotaging their weight loss smoothie is that they add in too many high sugar fruits into their smoothies. Now, even with green smoothies, you're going to add in fruit in general to just sweeten it up a little bit. Or maybe you just want certain nutrients from a particular type of fruit, like berries, uh, blueberries, very nutrient-dense fruit, lots of antioxidants, lots of vitamin, lots of fiber. Um, and berries are actually a great type of fruit because they're also low in sugar. But what I see with a lot of people, okay, with weight loss smoothies where they end up sabotaging themselves and not being able to lose weight as quickly or even worst case gaining weight because that can happen with people who are doing weight loss smoothies is that they're picking high sugar fruits high glycemic fruit there's a thing there's a scale called the glycemic index and the glycemic load these are two different scales but basically they're scales to measure the amount of sugar that there is in your fruit relative to other nutrients especially like fiber okay um, and people pick fruits that are higher in sugar these fruits are actually going to raise blood sugar more rapidly. They're going to increase insulin levels. And I've said before, insulin is a fat storage hormone. So even though you're eating a healthy food with fruits and you're packing in these high sugar fruits into your smoothie, you're actually counteracting the whole weight loss process because these types of foods aren't that you know, weight loss friendly. They're very nutritious, but just because something is nutritious doesn't mean it's gonna help you lose weight. Those are two totally different concepts, all right? So bottom line, if you are making a weight loss smoothie, you're trying to lose weight, you don't want to pick high sugar fruits, sh fruits that break down rapidly into sugar, fruits that contain a lot more sugar relative to fiber. And a few of these fruits, and you can get, actually Google this if you wanna look up like high sugar fruits, high glycemic fruits, you can find a ton of lists on these. So very common fruits that are high in sugar that people love throwing into smoothies sometimes, things like mango, pineapple these types of fruits even though they taste awesome and i love pineapple but pineapple is not a fruit that i would eat if i was trying to lose weight it's kind of like a maintenance fruit or a cheat fruit on the other hand you're probably thinking well what are some great fruits that can help me lose weight well we've got berries like i said blueberries strawberries raspberries these are awesome foods blackberries apples are great citrus citrus foods are actually citrus fruits better said are awesome for weight loss so like i said just google do a quick google search and i'll probably even leave a link or not even a link i'll leave some low sugar fruits down in the description box just quickly so you guys can check that out maybe like a list of like five to ten but bottom line when you're making a weight loss smoothie you want to be very mindful of how much sugar you're putting into that smoothie and also when you're making a weight loss smoothie, 
crank up the protein, crank up the fiber. These are two nutrients that are going to help you stay fuller longer, okay? And um, they're also going to provide your body with a lot of key nutrients, like protein is going to help you build muscle. Muscle is key for fat burning. Fiber is going to help you stay full. It's also great for healthy digestion and keeping the bacteria in your gut healthy and balanced so you can lose weight a lot easier some of you that are having digestive issues or even like a bloated belly you've noticed that with weight loss you just got this belly pooch sometimes that's from an imbalance of bacteria in the gut that's causing this gassiness and this bloating you get this appearance like you are you know you need to lose a few pounds and you maybe do but by focusing on more protein and more fiber in your smoothies and less high sugar fruits you're going to be able to achieve a better and more supreme weight loss smoothie. So that's the tip for today on your weight loss smoothies. Scale back on those sugar, high sugar fruits. Get some lower sugar fruits in that contain more fiber and more nutrients. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it up, drop down in the comment section and let me know what are your favorite fruits to put in your smoothies that are low sugar fruits. And if you have a tendency to put high sugar fruits, uh, let me know if this video was helpful to you. All right. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Dr. Phoenix. As always, it was my pleasure. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another episode of my Fit 4 in 1 very, very soon. Peace.